Hey, uh, I am in Hilo right now with a very special guest. This is Mark Yamanaka, who I, uh, our lives, like our paths <laughs> crossed like two nights ago yes. by a completely fluky thing. Mark is a friend of my daughter, Rebecca's, and uh, she said this friend of hers was coming by who played guitar and sang a little <laughs> bit, and, and she didn't tell me much else. And the kid was sandbagging because, um, uh, anyway, we sat down and played, and Mark has a very distinctive style that some of you may have already checked out some of his recordings. And so we're going to play something first. I think we're going to have him play one of his songs, and I'm going to play along maybe a little bit and do my best not to destroy the whole, the whole <laughs> mood and stuff like that. And then we're going to talk about, um, uh, about, about Mark and life here in Hilo and the music world and yeah, other things like that. So uh, welcome to Totally Guitars. This is my, my you know, this is what I do. Nice. For, for is and it's a, luckily it's allowed me to come here and and, uh, and, and do a few a few things. Yeah. So. Thanks for having me on. Sure. Yeah, this right is, on. This. So what uh, what would you like to start with? Uh, this is a song that uh, an old, a traditional Hawaiian song that takes you to uh, Oahu or Honolulu more specifically. Okay. Uh, and uh, generally by the uh, towards the end of Waikiki. There's a place called Kapiolani Park, oh, okay. and it, is, it borders the Honolulu Zoo. Yeah. In the general area. I've been there. Yeah. Uh, in the general area, you used to have uh, basically it was swamplands. Oh yeah. The ocean met swamplands, and, and it, within that waterway, there was a, a little island called Maki, oh. and, and this song uh, is in honor of that island. So it's a really, really nice song. And who? Oh, he said it's a traditional song. Yeah. 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 So, so it's been recorded by a lot of people. Probably. James. Uh, can't remember his last Okay, that's yeah, right. Anyway, yeah. um, but it's a really pretty song, and uh, it's a song that most of uh, the local musicians uh, should know or, okay. or does know, and uh, also uh, another song that um, is commonly uh, choreographed with the hula. So, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so it's a really, really pretty song. Anything tricky as far as chord progression <clears throat> I need to look out for? No, pretty, okay, pretty straightforward, pretty simple stuff. All right, let's hear it. Yeah.
Um, yeah, yeah. Um, beautiful song and uh, amazing voice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but uh, this is partly what, what you're well known for now, as it turns yeah, out. Yeah, it's, uh, I've been, um, you know, I've been, I've been doing music for, I would say, 20 years now. Mm -hmm. um, from, from the first day I picked up an instrument. So you grew up here in Hilo? Yes. Yeah. And then um, as a teenager or something? Actually, it was uh, at Hilo Intermediate School, and I was uh, so into basketball. <laughs> and uh, Hilo Intermediate School is, is the intermediate school of Hilo. And then so you have all these other complex schools from elementary go to that one school. Okay. So from my complex school, I met a bunch of other uh, other students from different complex schools. And so is the school almost only two grades, like seventh and eighth? Yeah, seventh and eighth. Seventh eight. and eighth. And uh, I actually uh, met some uh, uh, Hawaiian kids from uh, Kilka, which is right here. Yeah, yeah right down the street. Road. Yeah. By the way, we're we're near uh, Richardson Beach here, out in or Richardson Ocean out yeah. from Beach. Yeah. Right. So. Uh, in case people want to. Um, and uh, just what happens is uh, these kids uh, uh, who, who are good friends of mine now uh, used to carry on ukulele at school and, and they, they used to play all kinds of different tunes that I was really familiar with, you know, because uh, not only the radio, but in my household, my, my parents and my, my grandparents used to just uh, play a lot of these, these tapes. Oh, I think it was tapes. Yeah. <laughs> Even eight tracks, maybe, yeah. huh? In the car. So, um, you know, a lot of these tunes they played were very, very familiar to me. And, and I thought it was cool that they could reproduce that sound uh, or mimic that, that sound that I was so familiar with uh, as far as certain licks they would do on the ukulele. Yeah. Um, or you even just. Do, do, yeah, do, that do, kind of the the general stuff that, sound, huh? stuff that just click with you, you know, that stay, yeah. stays with you. and. Um, just what happens is that that boy, uh, which his name is Tony, uh, he was interested in basketball. He, he wasn't a great player. He used to love to try, uh -huh. and I wanted to learn ukulele. So it's kind of an even exchange. Oh, we got to know each other really well, and, and uh, I would play basketball, I'd teach him a few things, and, and he'd teach me ukulele. So um, through intermediate school and, and all the way through high school, we used to play uh, music together, and that's kind of how things got through started for me. Yeah, yeah. And somewhere somewhere you picked up the guitar a little bit too. I, 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 from, from the later? seventh grade, I would, I would say towards the end of seventh, right oh, in okay. the grade, I started to ukulele. Really, like, really trying. And uh, I wouldn't say long, much long after I would, I would pick up the guitar and, and play, play along with, uh, you know, some of the local music here. Yeah. So, yeah, so I would say about eighth, ninth grade, I started playing guitar. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a full on basic strumming. Yeah, uh, you know we have a very um, you know accomplished technique now in terms of uh, yeah you know, you know uh, finger style and, and nice little licks and, and fills and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah, well, there's know. a lot of great influences that I used to listen to. Um, you know, slack key artists. Um, mm -hmm. I don't play slack key. I, I regular standard 440 tuning, and, and I yeah. just try to um, you know incorporate these licks that make it sound slack key. Yeah, and you can tuning. absolutely do that in standard tuning. Yeah, you know, you know, so uh, I yeah, you said I I guess I. I, you know, I still have a lot to learn, but I've perfected what I uh, perform. So yeah, yeah. Um, you know, folks like uh, guys like Letter Kapana, of course the Beamers, um, you know, Cyril Pahinui, and uh, a lot of great you know artists that I used to listen to. Um, I've just over the years just kept listening to them. Yeah, and uh, never took any lessons. All self-taught. So, so did you sing along with them like all the time, like in the car totally. or, and, or in the house and totally. stuff, and always tried to imitate what you were hearing? That was that was totally my lessons right there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it's just something that I couldn't get rid of. I uh, just wanted to learn more and, and, and always picking up the guitar, picking up the ukulele yeah. and singing along. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so but... Um, so this Hawaiian tradition of you know falsetto singing yes. and stuff is something that I think it seems to me very difficult to pick up without a little bit of help <laughs> <laughs> and the vibrato and stuff that you know yeah. that you have good control over too is yeah you know it's it, falsetto and for for those of you who don't know it's uh, um, from what I heard and what I've learned it was, it was a style that was picked up. Um, in the late 1800s, early 1900s, um, by these, these choirs that were short on female vocalists, you know, uh, 
and these guys, uh, Connie had to say the parts. step it up and yeah. yeah, sing the soprano parts or whatnot, and yeah, and that's kind of how it generated this style of, of singing. Um, and the, the Hawaiians call it leo kie kie. And, okay. Um, it. My grandparents used to play a lot of this this style in, in the household uh, old tapes and stuff, uh -huh. and it just it was something that just literally caught my ear and stuck yeah. with me, and so I, I mimicked. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but I forgot to mention, you know, along the way, um, I know I talked to you earlier about this, but being non-Hawaiian. Uh, <laughs> right. So so that yeah. That was, I that was I uh, dealt with a lot of. Uh, self-doubt yeah uh, insecurities um, me being Asian uh, picking up these uh, this interest in Hawaiian music Hawaiian culture and, and um, I literally were, was ashamed to carry ukulele around the school yeah I feel like a fraud or something yeah, right? exactly you know and, and I, I just was uh, so embarrassed uh, to carry the instrument around around school and, and be questioned hey, what yeah. are you doing with that yeah, yeah. who gave you that but uh, I think it was more of I think it was just thinking too deep into that, you know. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I think there's probably, what else may have led to that is just your deep respect for the tradition and feeling like, you know, everybody else you knew that was doing this was, you know, had been born into it yes. one way or another. And so it's like, you know, you sort of got an eye into it. Yes, and, you know, yes. And, and that's, uh, that's yeah, that. Yeah, you know, and, and saying that, um, you know, a lot of these other guys born into the this kind of uh, lifestyle or, or, or music. Um, I had nobody in my family, uh, you know, to look up to um, yeah. for, for advice, for for lessons, for anything. But like yeah, that. Um, I was the, the pioneer of my family to to go out and, and you know learn this stuff. So um, it came a little bit more difficult for me. Yeah. Um, you know, so a lot of people ask uh, now. You know, I'm out, out there more in. The, yeah. Seen now, so the, the the main question is, where have you been all this time? Exactly, <laughs> you know, it's like, how'd you keep this a secret? You know, and I, I said, I've been around, you know, I just, um, it's just that it's the lucky break, you know, that, that you get, um, and, and being exposed, yeah, because you know, I've, I've been doing a lot of music around the big island, you know, for uh -huh. a long time, and um, but I think a lot of it has to come with my insecurity and. and Wanting to make sure that uh, I was doing something right, yeah. Before number one, I record a CD, or you know, so it took me that long to actually record. Yeah, uh, two two CDs I have yeah. now. Let's uh, let's talk about them a little bit here. Okay. This one came out a few years ago, right? 2010. Or so. 2010. Uh, yeah. My my debut solo CD yeah. entitled yeah. Lepo Kenny Kenny, 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 Kenny. and um, which means what? Uh, it's actually a, a poor Kenny Kenny's oh. a flower. Okay, uh, and. <clears throat> the flower went strung into a lake, basically. Oh, okay. What can it get again? If you haven't had this, a chance to flower, the flower is. Okay, the, the flower is very, the flowers on the cover. Very fragrant yeah. flower. Uh, they, they call it a 10 cent flower. <laughs> Meaning? But, um, I guess we used to sell it for 10 cents. Okay, yeah. Uh, but one of the most fragrant flowers you can ever smell. It looks su super simple. Wow, uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, but. It's uh, like a little uh, macaroni shell. Yeah. Yeah. When you when it when it first blooms, it's kind of a light light uh, tan, uh, sandy color. Okay. Light uh, maybe off white. Yeah. And it, as as it's progressed, it ages. It becomes more of a yellow uh, into a deep orange. This one's looking pretty aged, then. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of a midday color. Yeah. Where'd you go to take this picture? <laughs> I was down actually down on uh, Bayfront. Oh, okay, right, right. Yeah, so we're, we're, just, we're just fooling around with all kinds of shots, and that, one, and that, that was the that. one. Yeah, that's killer. So. Yeah. So definitely encourage you to check this out. We'll talk more about it. We should probably play a song maybe from this. Yeah.